Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Josh with the Get Business Credit YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over why it's so important to get listed with the 401 Business Directory assistance line, as well as getting your online presence taken care of for your business. It's a very crucial step that is often overlooked. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. But before we do, I just ask if you can please hit the subscribe button. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate it. And give the video a thumbs up. It helps the video get out to other people looking to build their business credit or get listed with the directory assistance line. Okay, so let's get right into it. You can find all the links in the description below. So what you're gonna wanna do is go over to listyourself.net. Like I said, the link will be below. There's some upselling here. You don't need to do anything, it's free. But right here where it says individual, personal, or business listings, that's what you wanna click more info. Okay, it's gonna take you to this page. It's gonna say residential or business. As it says here, list yourself in the form on directory assistance by filling out the form with your address and phone number, then complete the automated phone validation. You'll receive a confirmation email within five days after your listing is incorporated into the National 401 Directory Assistance Database, okay? It can't hurt to go ahead and do this if you're not sure if you're already listed in it or not. It doesn't hurt, just go ahead and do it. Especially if you have a voice over IP line, depending on what line you have, Google Voice, some aren't always accepted, but you can definitely do this. It's definitely gonna help you, it can't hurt you. So you're gonna click business, it's gonna be de defaulted on residential, so you wanna do business put in your phone number to list here the area code and phone number keep in mind you want to keep all this information across the board whatever you have listed with this with your llc or your s corp or inc c corp with your secretary of state you want to have everything matching across the board with experian business credit dunner bradstreet equifax paynet credit safe any of those you want to make sure everything's the same you always hear me preach that keep all the information the same exactly how it's listed with the secretary of state the irs so put in your phone number after that put in your company name exactly how it's listed with the secretary of state then pick your business category if you don't find exactly what it is do the best you can closest to it it's not a huge deal then after that uh obviously the country street address suite number if you have one city state zip Put your email address, preferably a business email address, but it could be a Gmail or whatever. And then after that, it's going to say uh, how to validate. You need to do this no matter what. You need to get the number validated. So if it's a forwarding number or something, make sure you have access to it right now when you're doing this. If you don't, then it's not going to get validated and get sent to the national database for uh, directory assistance. So best thing to do is just call and then hit just hit add listing and it's going to call right away and then have you put in a, it'll give you a code and then you're going to put the code on the website, okay? So that's all you have to do with list yourself, okay? That's going to get you into the National Business Directory Assistance. This is important if you're trying to build business credit because I can tell you right now, Synchrony Bank, which underwrites a lot of um, business credit trade lines, such as like Lowe's, um, Conoco Phillips, Revolving Business Gas Card, JC Penney's, they're going to check this. They're notorious for checking this. So um, they want to see that you're listed. So that's that. And then the next one is a Google Business Profile. So, like I said, the link will be in the description below. What you want to do is create a uh, business profile with Google. Go to Google and type in google.com forward slash business but the link will be in the description below and then it says stand out on google with a free business profile mine is already signed in but it's pretty self-explanatory if you're not signed in you're going to be able to see how to go about setting up basically the same information like on list yourself same exact information the only thing different with google is they're going to send you an actual postcard in the mail that's going to have a, like a six digit number and you're going to have to confirm that that usually comes in five to ten business days once it's confirmed you can go ahead and start getting reviews from customers you definitely want to get this one this is a crucial one this is a very important one for online so you definitely want to get listed with uh, google for sure you might ask so what is uh, Google my uh, Google my business so that's like when someone searches like say hair salon or gas station Columbus Ohio these listings here it shows like shell and has the address phone number hours 
website, directions, all that. That's Google Maps. That's exactly what Google My Business is. That's what you want to get taken care of. Please don't overlook these things. It's very important. Next on our list is going to be Yelp for business. Especially if you're in the service business, you definitely want to get listed on Yelp. The free business account, all these accounts are free. Every single one is free. They just take a little time to do. And some of them take a while to get the verification letters. But you definitely want to take care of this. It should be one of your very first steps if you're building business credit up. Again, this one is self-explanatory. I'm not going to go through all that. I don't want to waste your guys' time. But you just basically do everything. Everything self-explanatory. Confirm your listing. Make sure with all of these that you confirm the email addresses as well. You need to do that. A lot of them will send you an email and you need to confirm and do the instructions. So make sure you do that. And then you can get on be on Yelp. Okay, next on our list is the Facebook business page. Most people have a Facebook account, so you can just set up a business page. It basically tells you what it's about. Again, I'm not going to keep on repeating this. It's the same process for all these. It's just different platforms, okay? So you want to create a page. Right there, you're going to put your page name. So you're going to do... You can either create a page or create a business listing. So you can use the name of your business brand or organization. Helps explain category information, all that. And it will have your information about address. You can make this detailed as you want. And then the next one on our list is being places for business. It's not used too much, but you want to go ahead and get it listed. It doesn't take very long to do it. Okay. New user, it says get started and claim your business. If you already have Google, it says already on Google, my business, input your business now. If you don't, then um, then after that, then you just, uh, just claim your business, add it incorrect, add information, buy it manually. So, you know, it's gonna depend on your situation, but these are all things that you definitely wanna get set up, okay? So that's a recap real quick, list yourself, .NET business directory, that's 401 business directory. You want to get listed in that, that's going to be crucial. Then you want to get Google My Business listing set up, Yelp business, Facebook, and Bing. So it's that simple. Get these taken care of. They don't take very long to do. And when you create these profiles, don't only just like confirm, set them up. Add a picture, add some pictures of your business. Or if you're a service business, trucking business, whatever, add some pictures, add some description about what your business is, what it's about. Make sure the grammar, everything's set up properly, well written, you know, a couple sentences or whatever. Because manual underwriters, whether it be a net 30 small vendor like, say, uh, Uline or Granger, or it could be uh, national funding. It could be for business funding. You don't know who's going to look at it, but you need to have all these set up. If you don't have anything, the online presence, that's going to affect your approval rate. I can guarantee that with some. There's no way to know, but this definitely helps. I know this for a fact. Just make sure all your information matches across the board and you save the logins for all of them so you can go in and edit as needed. But this is very important, okay? So with all that being said, you guys take care. I hope this is helpful. Please give the video a thumbs 